Hi, this is another episode from ParadiseArcadeShop.com. My name is Brian, and I'm going to go over basic setup for a Gombas 8220 converter board today. This is the board that's commonly used to convert the uh, old CGA signals to a newer VGA signal. And uh, this allows you to actually put an LCD monitor or a newer uh, VGA CRT screen into your arcade cabinet or to play your old games uh, on a newer screen. You can make a super gun, there's a number of applications. So the board we're talking about is up here in this corner. Um, that's the Gombas 8220. And down here is a JAMA board. This is actually one of the um, Game Room Classics uh, Tato 10 game boards. And then up here we have a power supply. And basically this is all that's needed to get this working is what you see here. The simple connections are you connect the JAMA harness to the power supply. So you have uh, the 12, the 5, and the ground here. That comes back to the JAMA board because you need obviously power to your JAMA board. And then the uh, monitor connection from the JAMA board, if you're using one of our JAMA harnesses, plugs directly into the Gombas 8220 with this fitting here. Then all you need uh, to make this system function is to plug the 5 volt power into the Gombas 8220 board. And then you can just connect that back either to the power supply here, which we've done. Another thing that I've done that's actually kind of nice is I take a fingerboard and a uh, a female JAMA fitting and I make my own little adapter for here that splices the monitor connections and the power right into the JAMA connector. If you are running with a harness that is not a JAMA harness and you need a, another solution to connect up here there is an 8 pin uh, provided with this that you can see here. This is the 8 pin connector and that will actually plug into the port right on the back of the input here. This allows you, if you look, there's a red, green, blue, yellow, gray, and and black connection. The red, green, and blue are the uh, RGB off the board. The yellow and gray are the sinks, and the black is the ground. And you just need to connect those to your existing harness or splice it in, and it'll plug right into your converter board. So here's the basic setup. All we need to do now is plug this in and connect it to a VGA monitor. All right, thank you for putting up with the first part of that video. I'm gonna show you what happens when we plug the board in and turn it on. So this is aimed at my uh, HD TV. Uh, just use that as a monitor. What you see here are the Chinese caricatures that come up when you start. Then the board picks up, scans the signal. This happens to be a multi-tato board that I have in here now. Uh, you can see that the green is adjusted to be too high. So this is the tato board booting up and what we'll do is I'll get in here and we'll take a look at this and I'll adjust the green down once we get into the main menu. So uh, this is the Game Room Classics board that we have on our website. Feel free to take a look at it or purchase one. But So sometimes when you connect these boards up, you can see it auto scanned here, presented on the screen just fine. There's a series of pots on the board that can be adjusted to tune the color in. And there we go. That's a much better uh, set of colors for that. Uh, that board. So I just turned the green knob down. It's right by the inputs. Uh, you can do green, red, or blue. Turn them up or turn them down and adjust things in to tune the board to make it look perfect. So uh, in addition to having this main menu and having this presentation on the screen here, what I'd like to do is just go through the menus quickly. Uh, if you look at the manual, there's a little guide for where the menu buttons are, but if I press menu, it pulls up the main menu. If you start up this board and it's in a Chinese language, it's only in Chinese or English, if you scroll down to 4, hit menu again, you'll have a choice of Chinese or English. If you get it and for some reason it's set in Chinese, it will look like this. That'll look very confusing. So you just go to 4, hit menu, select English, and everything becomes quite clear. Now this menu is really useful. You can adjust a number of different things. One of the things that you can adjust here is the brightness, the contrast, saturation, sharpness. So you can kind of tune your picture in. Just hit the menu button and up, you know, you can turn things up and increase the brightness or turn things down and lower this, the brightness. And again, contrast, saturation, just kind of your typical monitor adjustments. Hit menu again to get out. If we go back to the main menu screen, you can also adjust the geometry. Now this is really handy. Uh, as you know, on a, as I'm sure you know, on LCD monitors, they don't really have these adjustments in there to the degree that you need them sometimes, especially with some of the older arcade boards, this, this menu setting can be quite important. So if we look at this here, uh, I'll just go into, let's do just do horizontal position. 
you know, I can really shift this image uh, quite significantly. And that'll make a big difference for lining your image up and getting things positioned properly. So, uh, also down here at the bottom, clamp ST and clamp SP. I won't go over that now, but these are the settings you use if you end up with a black screen after you leave it on for a while, or you get a whitewashed screen. There are directions in the manual on how to deal with that. It's a troubleshooting section that came up on the forums, and actually uh, JROC did a great job of kind of going over how to fix that. So, uh, last section in the menu here, aside from the language, which we already did, is the display. You can change the resolutions here. Let's change this to 800 by 600. You just scroll up, hit enter, and there it's set. We'll go to 1024 by 768. And I kind of like that setting, so we'll leave it there. We hit OK and exit. And that's really it for the board. It's quite simple. Plug it in, it scans your image, sets it up, and uh, keeps everything set up for you. So if you have any questions, just let us know. Uh, this will work with just about any old CGA, EGA uh, board. It uh, really uh, does a nice job of tuning things in. One of the things that you might notice, and you'll see I adjusted the green, is when you first get these in and you hook them up, they can really look bad with the colors. It'll look like everything's messed up. I had a board that came in where one of the multi-boards somebody was running Donkey Kong and it just looked absolutely horrible. I mean Donkey Kong was like green and those three little pots you can actually really tune the color in nicely using those. So don't get scared if you hook this up and things don't look good just adjust the colors with the little pots and get moving. Again if you have any questions you can get us at www.paradisearcadeshop.com uh, or you can hit us at sales at paradisearcadeshop.com or Brian at ParadiseArcadeShop.com. Thank you very much for watching.